Scene three, take one. <clears throat> Action. What do you know about Random Island? I know that Random Island was mostly associated with the fisheries. Parts of Random Island were resettled from places like Deer Harbor, and that a lot of people actually came here because of the fishery. Uh, what I know about Random Island is that a lot of families are connected to the fishing industry. Random Island was a fishing island. Tell me now. Oh, I know. I, I think there's no doubt we are still known for the fishery. Uh, I know many students would say the uh, golden shell fish plant when asked uh, what Random Island might be known for because it is a great source of employment here and the bigger, biggest employer on Random Island. Golden Shell Fishes is a fish plant located in Hickman's Harbor. So many young people uh, get jobs at the fish plant and it's a, a great source of employment for them. But especially as a teacher, I see how much of an impact it has financially for so many families. I'm connected to the fish plant because my dad works there and he also fishes for a living. Um, my father has been working with the fisheries since he was a teenager and my mom works at the fish plant. Uh, I work on a 3411 uh, fish crab, capelin, cod. I worked up in the box room and we made boxes and put them down the chute. And all uh, I, I had it because I was too young. <laughs> this is actually a funny story because well, we're twins and I was allowed to work there and he wasn't. Although I'm only one minute older than he is. So if the fish plant were to close down, what do you think would happen to the population of Random Island? If my mother and father had to lose their jobs, we would probably have to move away to find a new place for them to work. Uh, it depends. Depends on the fishery. Now with all these cuts and stuff, I'm not quite sure. And taxes now that the cable might be shut down this year. There's a wall stacks or something. Trying to keep it for a card in Wales. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to go. Growing up in Elliot's Cove, I always remembered so many kids my age to play with and being around my house. And uh, I, I was a student in this school at its high point of population, and it had well over 400 students. And now we are at 117, and that drop happened since the 1992 moratorium. So there's no doubt you can see how that has changed here, just like many other communities in Newfoundland. Our identity is something I think we're struggling with now. Uh, there's no doubt Random Island was founded on the fishery and the fishery is still a huge part of it, but uh, it's not what it used to be. I, I remember so many families uh, connected to the fishery in greater detail, but now so many people move away for work and work elsewhere that I don't know if you could say Random Island is totally a fishing community anymore. So in a lot of ways I think we struggle with our identity. So what do you think Random Island's identity is? I think our identity lies mainly with the fisheries. When people think of Random Island, they think of a rural fishing community. Um, I think uh, Random Island's identity is mainly known around the golden shell fisheries. I think that Random Island doesn't really have an identity because nobody in the past thought to pass down our identity because they thought nobody would be interested. I don't know. <laughs> what we're known for, sometimes you would get different answers from people. We're known for Hurricane Igor, we're known for the fish plant, we're known as being nice people, or it's a nice place to visit, uh, even though we have no real tourist attractions here. But uh, in terms of what we're known for in our identity, I think you'd get different answers from everyone.